Welcome back to Thick Riff Thursday. Today, I'm jamming on a weird tuning. Uh, it's kind of the periphery tuning. So periphery, I think, tunes their bottom string. It's like drop C, and then they tune their bottom string down to A, pretty sure. And then you've got this octave here, so you've got... Since my guitar was in standard tuning, I just tuned this down to B. So I didn't have to tune everything down because I've got a got a tremolo on it. So like I don't want to have to go and adjust it. It's already like a little bit out of whack now that I tune this down to B. But I was kind of jamming on this for a little bit on this tuning and I started to come up with some like cool stuff. It took me a minute to get used to it. It's weird. Um, you kind of just have to like pretend you're playing a seven string and you're ignoring the E string. Cause so it's like, it's like you have a B here and then you take away the normal low E string and then it's just a normal guitar after that. But it's cool. It produces some cool results and uh, you write some stuff you didn't think you would ever write. I don't know, it's cool. And it's not as weird as an open tuning where you have to really like relearn the guitar basically. Like there's some open tunings, David Maximicic, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> He's one of my favorite guitarists, but he plays in a really interesting uh, open tuning. Um, it's like, it's a seven string, but A flat. And it's like an open A flat major nine chord, I think. And I've, I've learned some of his stuff in that tuning and it's really, really weird. Anyway, enough talking. Gotta make sure I'm in tune because with the floating bridge, it's gonna be a little bit touchy on the tuning because I'm lazy and I didn't take the time to actually set up my guitar in this tuning. You can get some nasty chords with this tuning. It's really cool. So <laughs> I've got a whammy pedal down there and I'm using it to drop down a full octave. And my idea for that riff is to, on the, on the long open notes, to just drop it down all the way. Go like. I messed it up, but you get the idea. It's hard to have that coordination. I really respect guitarists who like play live and really mess with their pedal boards while they're playing. Like I have never been able to do that. <laughs> like, like I, if I, if I do like a wah pedal guitar solo, I'm like, my, my foot is just going to be doing whatever. <laughs> There's no intention at all. It's probably just doing eighth notes. It's probably just like, like the whole time. <laughs> I'm going to try to figure out the riff without the whammy pedal before I, before I try to incorporate it. All right, let's, let's record it. Let's try to get it with the whammy pedal the first time through too. Still, it's just a scratch tape to get the drums down, but let's try it. Three, four. Oh, I just messed up the last. By the way, if you guys want to download these Archetype Nolly presets, go to architecttigerstudios.com and you can also contact me about my mixing, mastering, producing services. The link is in the description. All right, that's good enough. Good enough to get the drums down. That's cool. Nice. All right, now let's go back and get decent takes for the guitar. I think I'm gonna punch in the octave drops on the whammy pedal. Yeah, I think that'll make for a cleaner take. Cool, good take there. All right, let's do the octaves. <laughs> really, I just need to get one <laughs> and then you get one for each track and then I can just copy and paste it. Three, four. There's one. That's so gross. I love the whammy pedal. You guys know that already.
Oh, I gotta do bow. Those kind of bends remind me of Slipknot, like old school Slipknot. They used to do that shit all the time. Normally I would use Euro bass for something heavy like this, but I've, I've got a lot of like, there's a lot of bendy stuff in it and it's pretty expressive. So I feel like I wanna use real bass on this one. Dusty, Dusty Baker up in here. I think this is the first time I'm using the Spectre on Thick Riff Thursday. Man, this is a jumpy riff. This is fun on bass. Oh, it's so hard to get that bend. Oh man, that was such a good take up to that point. Okay, I think I'll be able to comp something out of all of that. That was a good, that's a, that's a good second bar. Rushing it a little bit there. So if I can get a good first bar. Oh, actually, okay. So the first bar, I hate when Logic does that. Logic just can't keep up. All right, the little jumpy part and the third bar is the same as the first bar. So I can just, I can just steal the third bar one. Very nice. I call that lateral comping. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Would that be cool? Like as a layer or is that just gonna sound stupid? Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it, let's hear it. Way too loud. No, I don't think I like that. <laughs> I don't think I like it. I think that sounds dumb. Now that I'm editing the video, I actually think that sounds really cool and I wish I had done it, but whatever. <laughs> we want to give this riff some atmosphere though. We do want to give it some atmosphere. Let's see if we can get some spaciness going. Okay, really in in terms of atmosphere, I don't think it needs like a lead line or anything busy. I think it just needs one note, just like the tonic maybe. To just be held out and in the background to have that droning like production lead in the background, totally out of the way so the riff can shine but still have an atmosphere. Yeah, dude, I like that. I like that, that's cool. Yeah, see, so it still has that atmosphere, So, but it's not like, because I feel like with just the riff, just the two guitars, It's cool, but I think this just adds a nice little, a nice little touch to the, to the, to the vibe. Touch up the drums a little bit. That's dope. That's really sick. And then a drum fill to end it. So like,
Okay, so something like... Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. This riff in like the perfect moment in a song would hit so hard. Like I like as like maybe a bridge or maybe a post chorus kind of thing. I don't know. That's that's kind of what I'm imagining it as. You know what time it is. Put the mastering chain on there. Give it the old listen. Dude, nice. Yeah, and you don't even really notice these production guitars until like until everything stops and they're still fading out. But like if you take them out, the riff feels empty. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Thick Riff Thursday. Remember to tag me on Instagram and TikTok with a video of your thick riff on a Thursday and I'll repost you and maybe I'll feature you in one of my Thick Riff Thursday episodes. And please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and want to see more of it. I will see you guys next time. Peace.